We're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Jewel. Just Jewel here. Today is a special day because we are hosting tons, I mean tons, of cold steel knives. All the latest colors of your favorite models. Popper ones like the Max 4 Scout, the XL, Espada, the Recon one, and even some new ones like mm. the Verdict and Gentleman Stockman. Yep, going through them fast. We're also be showing new folders from Cansep, CGRB, and Maxace. It's a really big week, so we can't wait a second longer. Let's hit the table. First up is the Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. You've seen it before, but here it's again. So this folder is 10 inches overall with a 4 inch stonewash Aust 10A stainless blade. It's open with dual sided thumb studs. That's great. Handle on this one is FBE. This one is the Flat Dark Earth. Guys. Flat Dark Earth. And the other is Ton. There's the tan, man. Both are the same size with the same blade and finish. Each has a lanyard hole and tip-up pocket clip. No lefty love on this model, guys, and no reversibility. Disappointing. Who cares? What do you mean, who cares? Oh, great knife. In any time you have a folding knife with a big blade <sighs> 10 inches long, I don't care what color 7884 it is. 7884 There it is. Overall, I like the new models. They got the OD green handles and the orange, even some black blade ones. Didn't change anything but the color. I like this model, so I'm not going to harp on that. What do you think? What do I think? Here, here's the I have told you what I think. I think it's great. You can cut rope with this thing. Big fat rope. Cut rope. Slice it. What else, what else do you want? Cut rope. I mean, I look at that thing. Okay. Tell you what. That's what you meant. You better wear a belt. You meant a rope. You put this sucker in your pocket. I thought you were going with the Om yeah. Nom guy. All right, there okay. it is. Moving on. So, next we're going to hit the new Recon Ones with Spear Point. Can't beat Not this. mini, not micro, but a regular Recon One. There it is. Yep. This one is also in FDE, Flat Dark Earth. There's also an OD Green One, too, if that's more your speed. Yep, it'll be coming out soon. It's 9.375 inch overall, a 4 inch American. S35VN spear point blade with black DLC coating. No jimping, but the blade is easily deployed with dual sided thumb studs. Handle is FDE G10 and showcases a triad locking system along with a lanyard hole and tip up pocket clip. I think it's reversible. Oh, uh, it comes with a lefty. I'm sorry. There's the yeah, lefty. I don't think it's reversible. Not reversible. It's coming with a lefty pocket clip, so thank you. Well, I'm, I get a little confused. One's okay, got a pocket clip, one doesn't have a pocket clip. One's reversible. Tons of knives. Can't remember them all. So weird. One you. comes with one, one doesn't. Crazy. And Not really. <laughs> you can do some recon. This is a very strong... There you go. Yep. Some recon with recon one for just $128.84 from... AdLandingKnife.com What do I think? Yep. What do I you think, think I'll be adding this one to my collection, too, because I'm a recon fan. Ooh, you know what? They fixed up that, uh, a refan. that G10. Yeah, that sounds weird. Go just Another one I have, I think it's 27 uh, TBH or something like that. Yeah. TBT. Very sharp, very hard G10. They've actually smoothed it out. Very nice. That is that is awesome. Recons are great. I personally like the Blackout Recon one with the clip point or with the Bowie mm. style. But that's the great thing about this knife. There are lots of options to choose from depending on your personal preference or the task. Mm -hmm. You got the Tonto, clip points, fixed and folding, mini, micro, XL, and now the new models of the spear point. You can never go wrong with a Recon 1. Nope, now you got GSM, buddy. You can roll them out. All right, the next new Cold Steel, even though I think these are uh, exclusive to a wholesaler. Cold Steel model is the XL Espada. We've seen an Espada before, but any chance we get to put a 16-inch knife on a screen, we're going to do it. I still cannot get over how large this knife is. Hold on is. a second. Back up, camera girl. <laughs> I mean, every time I deploy the blade on this guy, I'm I'm thinking, was it this large last time? Yes, it was. Are we sure? Let me go back and check. Yes. I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge Show it knife. to him. But yeah, she's going to have to like. I think this is one that uh, I can put, one of our viewers cuts a, a pizza pie with this thing. Yeah, well, it must be a pie that spans a whole tri-state area. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you. Got to, it's got to span at least three states if you're going to try and cut that cut with this thing. Anyways, this guy comes in a few different choices. There are, of course, the colors blackout, OD green, plain black with plain blade, and even a classy gentleman's design. However, the steel changes from model to model. So the classy one has the S35VN, while the previous blackout green G10 had the CTS XHP steel. Mm. So this new model has OS 10 a like the plain model one. So, yes, the steel has downgraded a little, but, oh, 
annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> But instead of the 300 bucks on the classy one, this one is only 174.84 from lightknife.com. Yeah. Question you have to ask yourself: Will that be? You feeling lucky? All right, go ahead. Okay, I think out of all the $200 knives out there, this one is the most bang for your buck. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's it's only like. Ho hold on a second. Let me be YouTube nerd. Go ahead. This is not practical. This knife is not for use. It's more of a showpiece. Okay, but it's nine two nine two nine point two five inches mm -hmm. when it's closed. You know what I say to that? When it's closed. Here's what I say to it. If I take this out and show it to you, it's gonna cause us to have peace. Sixteen point seven five when that fully is deployed. Short, isn't it? Thumb All disc right. showcases the seven point five inch black finish, ten osse blade, black G ten handle, lanyard hole, tip up hot clip, and most important thing, they give you a yes. backup clip for the yep. other side. Of course, it was designed by Andrew Demko, so it's got the, the triad lock mm -hmm. back part, of course. So, if you're going to take this out, like the office or a bar, you're definitely going to have the blue coats curled mm -hmm. on you, but it will be so worth it. Yeah. So, I don't like them anyway. Your thought, what are your thoughts, anyways? Well, my thoughts. Obviously, you like it, so. No, I like a spot. Of course, I like a spot. I like all the big knives like they do. I like espadas. I, 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 won't, nice. I won't roll the tongue with the espada. espada. All right. Yep. All so, right. that was the last old model. Until later. We're going to mm -hmm. show you on this week's episode. However, we do have some new cold steel. New cold steel And we're going to feature knives. like the verdict. Cold steel. Cold steel gentleman stockman. Yep. No more new colors with old knives this week. But before we hit the new carries, make sure you guys, you got to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and ring that Ooh, bell. Especially share. We are this close to 10K. It's a dream of AKs to have 10K. Yes. Yes, it is. And it takes all of us, you guys, to mm -hmm. make that dream come true. We're going to rock it to 20 as soon as we hit 10. By doing that, you also get entered into giveaways. Mm -hmm. Right now on both YouTube and AK's blog, we were giving away two All You Need Is We prize packs. So the time has come to announce the winners. Yeah, that mm -hmm. ends that one. So on YouTube, the winner of your very own All You Need Is We bundle, which includes a new We Titanium Minox We Civic Patch Tool Hank, and of course hat is, I know this person, Andrew Lapel Bay. Nice. I, mean, I don't know him. I've, I've I talked to him a couple times. I know him. <laughs> I've talked to him a couple times on the phone. I think he lives in Illinois or Indiana. Something like that. Oh, I just gave away his location. KLF. Oh, is he KLF? That's K right. That's right. K I can't. Oh, oh no. you'll throw up gang signs no, with KLF? Right. And the winner on AK's blog of the All You Need Is We prize is Tony Don't Do It Hines. You know, Andrew DePelbe's wife also collects. Oh, does she? Yeah. Woman after my own heart. All right. Congratulations to all the winners out there. Oh, my jewel. Just, mm. just stop. What? <laughs> I did my hands like this. You do your hands like it. Yeah, I'm doing And it thank you funny. for all those who participated in this giveaway. We can't do these things without you guys. Luckily, anyone I was going to do that too, who has seen our show enough times knows that's the Elaine. That you have another chance to win. Yep, because right now on both YouTube and AK's blog, we're now hosting the Mega Maxed Prize Pack. Yes. Can I, can I do it multiple times? Oh, you're invoking. Okay. One lucky winner will be the proud new owner of a new Max Ace titanium folder. What? With 14C28 still. Yep. I said that really fast for good reason. All because right. the best is a titanium here. That's okay. And a Max Ace t shirt. Swag. Yep. And, and it hasn't hat. ballooned. I can't beat that. All right, very Lots good. Very there. good. Thanks to my dog. Well, that's because we have cat. we have animals running around everywhere. It doesn't matter. Yep. They I'm don't like it. The boss likes it. He's, boss doesn't always say anything about that kind of animal, stuff. Animal, animal lover. Dude. He's never cared about my drinking. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's AKers, great. don't forget to like, share, or comment, my and subscribe. <laughs> it's the darnest thing. <laughs> you know, you did tell me once. You're getting lines in the crack. Oh, I'm I said, sorry. look, they're they're different. Crack is one thing. And Glue's right. another. Yeah. All right, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to this episode or the next one. You can also be entered by answering the AK trivia question on the Lang Nice blog. Link is down below. There it is. I also want to mention we're doing a lot of stuff this week. Next month, we'll be starting a new event called JP in August. Yep. We'll be giving away a USA made Jason Perry Blade Works knife every week, similar to what we did um, for Shield a Month. So be ready to win some awesome fixed blades, guys. Thanks to JP. Also, to reference last week's episode, 
I did like the damn design basilisk because of Harry Potter. Yeah, there's a basilisk in the second movie, if you guys don't know, uh, Chamber of Secrets, second one. So congrats to Nick W., He's Got a Knife, exclamation point, Raymond Williams, and let me tell you what, for picking up on that. All right, on to the Cold Steel Verdict. See? I'll weigh in on that. You weigh in. All right. New knife from Cold Steel comes in several options, but we only have the two in stock right now. The FDE, which we all know, mm -hmm. and Black. They're all in 4116 4, stainless steel. We have both to show you. So these folders are about 7.3 inch overall with a 3 inch 4116 SS stone wash blade. They are a cross between, what, clip point and spear point. Mm -hmm. Open with dual sided thumb studs. These triad lock backs also feature a lanyard hole and tip up reversible yes. pocket clips with several blade style options steels and gfn handle handle colors coming in soon you got a lot of options and the verdict on these verdicts is that they're only 56.84 from headlineknife.com all right you go first what's the ding do i'll tell you what you think you can have the fde i am so happy this week because i like almost everything i don't dislike anything is that correct? Mm, I slightly dislike something. We haven't got that I don't yet. dislike anything. Slightly. So that makes me happy. I like to come here and be positive as much as possible. I'm negative when I go with my mother in law's. Oh, uh, um, yes. But other than that, anybody would. You know, I like this knife. I, one thing about it that I did notice is that mm -hmm. it's very lightweight. The mm -hmm. handle seems, it's not possible, but it seems very thin. If it was too thin, then the knife wouldn't fit inside it. That's, that's true. So, but, like, there's no room. It's something, I mean, it's something you don't really it's, see it's very GFN, often. I think. So, it's I mean, but there's no room than. between. Nothing. No spacing. Okay. That's, that's kind of awesome. I like that. All right. Well, considering there are other models in Austin A, like 90 bucks, I think, mm -hmm. I probably just saved to get one of those. I'm not a huge fan of German Steel. But if you'd like to get a new cold steel and you only got 60 bucks, then obviously this is a great option. Mm. And it's got the reversible pocket clip. It can be dead. Land your hole. I mean, this box on. has the reversible pocket clip. Yeah. All right, next carry is the Max Ace. I um, won't say the Tower of Babylon. Babylon 2! A very popular model, even though it just came out. Mm hmm. So, only one option right now. Would you stop killing the wildlife? I, no. What are we going to no. hunt? All right. The deals. <laughs> Okay. That's a that's a plus to your page. So this folder is 8.75 inches overall with a 3.75 inch satin finish bowler M390 blade with jumping. It's deployed with so you got the oh the button lock sorry thumb opening or the thumb disc. It's got a gray titanium handle, blue tip up titanium pocket clip and back spacer. And it also comes with a black separate store cage, cleaning cloth, and of course, there's a box. Let me see if I can. And you can get it for just two twenty four ninety six from Atlantic Knife. You know, I, oh. I can't imagine saying that two twenty four ninety six is reasonable, but go ahead. Uh -huh. I have to say this is nice. Really good color combo. Interesting little details of like the thumb disc and the locking button and the handle contouring. I like that they kind of made the screws flush, but they made it so you could see where they were. Mm -hmm. Time went into the design and the mechanics. It's an extremely nice knife. Okay. What do you think? I am right there with you. I really like this knife Look and the pricing of it. Look at that. I mean... I know you don't like the locking button. In, nah, I've never liked the locking buttons on them. CRKT, the Cold Steel tried it for a while. It, it's just dumb. I mean, if you want a fixed blade knife, get a fixed blade knife. That doesn't make it a fixed blade knife. It just makes it a folding knife with a stupid lock. But I'm going to ignore the lock. Okay. Because it's colorful. I like this knife a lot. I don't, I'll let you. It, it's very, very We're all hitting stuff with smooth. It. I like the way it tings. Too bad your mother-in-law's not here. Oh, yeah, too bad. Accidentally. I mean, I love this thing. And, nice. believe it or not, this disc is kind of what the word would be gaudy, like you would find on a crudo. Don't you But dare. I like it with this knife. And on top of that, I like the blade style. I think it's because it's a bigger knife. Yeah, big blade, big handle, it's all titanium, it just fits. 
and it's 224. Crudo's usually if like anybody a else were doing or this, a smaller and be three something now. That's true. 224. That's true. Somebody's got some sense still, just a little bit. So, you know. Go ahead. All right. Next is the newest CJRB, <gasps> the More Malia. More Malia. By the way, the new knives just rolled in this week. <laughs> and we can't get them all. There's so many of them. Yeah. We'll it's how it always goes. Next week and we four can. different options: blackout, plain black, two different OD green options. All have Artisan's AR RPM9 steel, which is well CB CJRB's own budget steel meant to rival D2. Mm -hmm. So the more Malia is just under seven inches, with a 2.9 inch steel blade that has jimping, jimping. stone wash finish, and is open with a front flipper. Which Stone we're going wash. to ignore. Stone wash finish. Or a colored dual thumb stud that matches the pivot cap. There's that. And then handle is G10 and is offered as of right now in the black and OD green. There's also a tip up reversible pocket clip. Can't beat that. Yep. The original Malia was only 5.51 inch overall with a 2.3 inch AR RPM 9 steel blade. There's a Here's little, a quick comparison. Yeah, it was a very popular knife. It was. Liner lock. It kind of still is. But I think it's going to be replaced of with course. this newer model. Yeah. This Mormalia is only a little more as it's just $44.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you think, Willis? Well, I think this is going to make the best budget knives for this year, it looks like to me. Oh, what a queen. Because the other one did. And they're it really did. not that much more. A few bucks. So... I think it was a tie with something else. I can't remember. It's been so long. It has. And there's been so many knives. So many. So the only drawback on this knife is the front flipper. Yep. That's the only drawback. But it's got the thumb studs like the original. I like the bigger model. It's just easier to operate. A little more blade. I wish they had it in Jewel Jade G10. Maybe later. So. We'll you know see. the difference is? They're not. They're not. Do they're not. Notice? No. They're not. Uh, I can't Poppy think of the word. I can't meaning. use certain words when it comes to cheapness. They're not cheaping out on 15 or 20 cent and saving it by going with a little old thumb stud. Mm -hmm. They're spending the extra 15 pennies and doing a nice little accent pivot cap. On I mean, both they're doing sides. the extras. It don't cost anything. On both sides, too. A little bit. And that's the difference. It makes a difference. A difference. Yeah. And not asking yeah. another 25 bucks for it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know. Okay. So. Used to be some pride in making stuff. Next is a new folder. Another one from CJRB. <gasps> I think this one might be a big hit too. You think? The CJRB Ruffian. No. Ruffian. Several options for this guy as well. Plain black, blackout, and purple. With two different plate options. That's cool. Again, we got them all. Man, I'm stepping it up, aren't I? Oh my gosh. I wonder. I'm having time to fix my mother-in-law's closet. Yeah, your yeah. dance card is full. It is. Didn't you say you wanted to mention something had to do with your mother-in-law this week? Something about, like, the Matrix. I still don't like her. The moon is flat. The she Matrix. said the moon was flat. She's never seen the Matrix. Oh, she my goodness. TV. That's right. She said we were talking about the Matrix, talking about uh, one of the Funko Pops, my youngest uh, son. Like one of the one of them, I can't remember You're the right. analyst or whatever. I can't yeah. remember. She's like, I never seen that movie. I remember thinking to myself, well, yes, you have, because I, I know you've seen it. Because I was playing it in your house, like I don't even know, twenty three or four years ago. And then she's like, oh yeah, I don't. Only one I, part I ever seen was where the black guy with glasses. I don't know who that is. You're like, you know who it is? Blue pill, red pill. She's How could just you a, have not? She's just. Man, I tell you, how could you have not seen the Matrix? If you if you could just picture her, four year olds her, have seen the Matrix. The dip, the thing about her is that she's a contrarian. Everything you say, she will in turn say the opposite. Even if you witnessed her doing it and you have it on VHS, VHS. do you know what I mean? You have it on eight tracks. And uh, I mean, she'd be like, I didn't do that. I didn't discs. do that. And then when she's finally nailed it doing it, she'll go, Well, I only did it because da da da. da I never did it again. How's that? Burn. She yeah. drops the mic. She walks away. I just wanted to be nice. Talk about going to church. Maybe she has to stop talking. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so that leads us to the ruffian. Go ahead. You want me to go? Yeah, go All ahead. All right. CJRB ruffian. Seven inches overall. 3.3 inch AR. RPM 9 steel. Warncliffe blade. With jimping and various finishes. 
black and sateen. I have to go with the purple one now. It's bring pretty. it up it's there. Pretty. Show her off. Look at that. It's the blow with thumb opening and yeah. features a pivot cap accent G10 handle built in barrel spacer lanyard hull and reversible tip up and tip down pocket clip. Look at this. Is that a four way? It's a four way position. No joke. Wow, they even offset it because of the... Yep. Uh, wow. Stay off, stay of off all ruffians with one of your very own for just... forty nine ninety nine dollars 99 at lightknife.com. I'm going to have to go first. Do it. Okay. There's no flipper tab. Uh, There's no flipper tab. Can we glue one on there? No. I'd love to. I'd love to. If that were a solid design choice, that would glue one on there. There's no thumb studs either. Thumb opening... We're just spoiled. I, I want a thumb stud, and I actually, I want a flipper stud. It would have been ten times better with a flipper tab. I love the cut of the blade. The four-position pocket clip is something we rarely see outside of a spider hoe, which is another bonus. I mean, a flipper tab would have made this. It's like saffron would have made the recipe. Flipper tab would have made the ruffian. That's I'm just okay. Saying. You know what? You just can't saying. win them all. He could have won them all if they had put they a flipper won tab. This one. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, look, I'm not going to hate on it because I like the black and purple. I think it's a nice style. I do. Like Even with a little red uh, spacer, which seems like it's from another world on this one, but Looks right. it seems to work. Fits. Fits. I thought the introduction of a whistle, your police whistle, a was a terrible idea. A ferret. But the children responded. Um, I don't know. I like it. I think it's nice. It's only 50 bucks. Flipper I mean, tap. you know, yeah, it would have been nice. Flipper tap. At least they didn't go with the... Uh, over the top. Front flipper. I'd rather see nothing than the over the top. I mean, yeah, I probably it. would have too. All right, moving on. Moving on to the next knife on the table, the latest version of the Max Ace Helictus 2.0. Yeah, so we have reviewed this knife before, like a month or two ago. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Cool blade style, awesome handle, extras. The new version, however, is something new entirely. Sure, it has the same blade steel and features like titanium handle and storage pouch. Ah, oh, like my mother in law. Yeah, I knew you weren't going to miss an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. However, this model, instead of a carbon fiber uh, onlay, it's got a Damascus G10 onlay. Something I have never seen before. Okay? Let me tell you, it's cool here, but it's cooler in person, guys. Love the contrast between the titanium and the colors. I like how it looks like a Damascus steel, but it's not. It's awesome. And they did it on the back and the front. Just awesome. I think Max Ace is vastly becoming one of my favorite top 10 knife brands. Nice work. Polar M390, titanium. It's all good. What about you? What do you think? Well, the only, only complaint I have is not about the knife. They're becoming one of my favorite brands, too, but they're, they're a little difficult to work with. I like for them to step up and be a little bit easier to work with, especially when we come to order. Other than that, um, it's like I told Wendy. Wendy really likes this knife. And she thinks it's, you know, when Wendy likes it, that means we need to buy a million because everybody's going to like it. And I tried to explain to her, okay, look, it's personal preference. There are guys out there who are going to hate this. Yes. They think it's crazy, silly, stupid. Mm -hmm. It's a gimmick. Mm -hmm. What is it? A comic book stuck to it? Hey. I mean, whatever. Comic books It's rule. not everybody's cup of tea. They just want a plain knife with nice styling. But there's going to be a... There you go. That's even too gaudy for them yeah, in their yeah. terms. But this is good. <laughs> All right. This one's going to be popular. Um... I don't know how many people are going to buy it because of the... Wendy. I know, I like Wendy's it too. Wendy's buying it. But when you go to pull the trigger, how much is this thing? I forgot. Uh, I can't remember. I don't even think I mentioned it. It was 200 something, right? Yeah, I don't think it's a lot. It's maybe 240 I think it's 240 yeah. Maybe. I mean, I really do like it. It could it. be 229 too. I can't It could remember. be. Because there was a few other ones that were around the same price. Because there's a Makume one that's like crazy oh, but it's sold nice out. Too. But see, it's the same way. That's true. Yeah. It's an onlay of uh, so, Mukume. So. I like it a lot. I'd have one. I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea. That's true. There we go on from that. Moving on. All right. Moving on over. Onwards, of course. Next blade. Cansep Medium or M Corvid. A few options for the latest size addition to the Corvid line. Mm hmm Which is what they should have started with. They should have. Yeah. <clears throat> they have the two different orange options, the dark green and purple, which are very popular, along with the jewel jade and electric green. Designed by Coke Tools, these new medium corvids are just the right size for any daily task at just 6.45 inches overall with a 2.45 inch 154cm steel cleaver style blade. 
It's either they got the black coating or the satin finish. These liner locks are ready wherever, whatever you throw at them, all right? With a blade that has a flat grind and jimping to open with either the dual-sided thumb studs or the flipper tab. This carry checks all the boxes. G10 handle, lanyard hole, tip-up pocket clip, cleaning cloth and carrying pouch. One has everything they need to cut and clean in one budget-friendly package. And you can complete your collection with a CanSet Media Corbett for just $65, AK. Free shipping, no sales tax. Of course, except in Virginia. Okay, you can go first. All right, so here's what we have we going have on now. We have one version this time, but we don't need any other ones. You, you get this in times when you have like inflation or recession times. You get divergence. You get one person charging 130 for a same knife, and then that person charging 65 mm -hmm. This knife is way cheap. 65 bucks at 154 cm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not going to find a coach design for that price. Mm -hmm. I like the large one, don't go with me, also, because mm -hmm. it's very inexpensive, Big too. Man and hands. you should pick that one up, but this is a usable everyday mm -hmm. knife. I like it. I think it is just the right size for like a real mm -hmm. usable knife that an everyday Joe would use and carry. Mm -hmm. The mini is kind of more for collectors or like a bite size keychain carry. Mm -hmm. They're a little more expensive too even though they're like mini. Except then, the titanium one. Titanium one's a great deal. That's true. And then they got the XL Corvid. Cuts smoothly. It's a formidable tool but it's just a bit out of like a normal mm -hmm. knife user's comfort zone. This size is perfect. The fact that it comes in and electric green is just the sugar on top. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Yeah. All right. Ending this week out with an interesting one. An interesting one. Cold Steel has done a gentleman stockman. Two options right now. We have Ooh. both. Thank you. That's so great. they are 3.75 inch when closed. I'm sorry. I'll slow it down there a little you go. bit. Yep. All right. Each our HCR 13 MOV blade is at least one inch okay. and a half. So you got a clip point that's 2.33, a spade that's 1.75, and a sheep's foot that's 1.67. Handle on this one is smooth yellow bone, while the other is brown jig bone. I'm not opening it. Y'all are just going to have to accept Each blade like. on these slip joints is opened with a nail nick. Mm -hmm. They also support the traditional old school nickel, cop, nickel colored bolsters and pins. And you can snag one for just... 30.84. Free shipping AK. Okay, I have to say these are a good deal compared to Cold Steel's past old school folders, mm -hmm. like the Ranch Boss that they did for like $189. Mm -hmm. But I think it had like amber stag bone, so I guess, I don't know. There is another traditional slip joint that they have done around the same price. It's the new Cold Steel Trapper, which we will be covering next week. Mm -hmm. So I think this is pretty well done. Everything's flush and well made and it's good for the price. Yeah. I give it an A, even though I don't carry stockman style knives myself. They're just not my. No, it's certain certain it's person carries that. An older that. Uh, gentleman or lady that you know, grandfather had one. They pass it down and all kinds of that. So, what do you think? I'm same way. I mean, I, I like these knives. I always have. I don't carry one because I don't have a knife jiggling around in my pocket. Um, I don't carry a wallet, and I don't carry keys in my pocket. I just don't put things in my pocket. I don't carry change. So it doesn't carry change. No, I slide it on my pocket with the clip or my flashlight, all that, move on. Well, so. that was the last carry on the table for this week. We hit a lot today. As always, we need you guys to share the word of our awesome content. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell. Yep, that way you get a direct line to your gear content. We get to keep the episode's coming and you get automatically entered in giveaways. Right now, we're hosting the Mega, Mi Mega Max Prize Pack giveaway. We're only one lucky winner will receive a Max Ace Titanium folder. Shirt, hat, absolutely free. Yep. You can enter here or on AK's blog by answering a trivia question. Link for that is down below. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Rumble. You can find the latest deals, giveaway info, and all things new and outdoor anytime, anywhere. And lastly, don't forget to check out our podcast on Spotify and any other place our podcast will be hosted. If you like all things us, well then, you're going to like this podcast. We'll be releasing new episodes very soon. I think today's is about movies. To keep your nose to the grindstone. And it's time. Favorite knife on the table this week. See, you can go first. I'm going to go with the Cold Steel of Spada. <laughs> That's great. And it's Babylon. You this can't go bad. and Babylon. Go ahead. I'm going Babylon. There it is. And I am going... Get your hands out of here. You can't go too. The Cancept. All right. As per the norm... I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel, and we are signing off.
I'm C, and this is my show. <laughs> you ready? Are, are we, you ready now? Are we recording? Can you hear me now? Are you sure? Good. Are we on? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're on 30 seconds. Good. 722. Can you hear me now? Three. Good. Two. I'm going. You can't go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get back in a minute. Hold on.